Okay, internet connection said. Good now. <laughs> Works like a dream. So how are you, honey co? Good. Or should I call you Ms. Co? Or Miss Co? <laughs> Yes, this call me Miss Kim. <laughs> 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 now I have a different type. <laughs> oh. Let me turn off the echo. Yeah, I don't want you to wait. I get my tissue. Done. <laughs> Okay, there's that. That's done. You have ads, so you're monetized. Okay, she's gone, but she will be back. Hi, Peyton. Mega love shout out there. Sean Williams, nice to see you as always. Thank you guys for coming. Super awesome. Oh, it's a fashion show. Fashion <laughs> show. I always say she has. <laughs> Yeah, I get my <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> She needs a she needs a fresh pack every day. <laughs> she keeps I think she should buy a Kleenex company. She keeps them in business. <laughs> mm -hmm. Always has allergies. But you don't take anything for it, right? No. Yeah. Would you? Mm-hmm. Would you ever have a threesome? <laughs> These two girls and me? Or, or a guy and a girl and me? Yeah, both guy and girl. And then two guys with one boy like that. Two guys, one girl. Mm, probably not. Like dr Guys dream of two girls and a guy. But I don't think girls go for it. I'm on the right online, please. Okay. Popcorn. <laughs> of course, pay, pay a girl, no problem. I've seen it in um, strip clubs. Mm -hmm. There'd be guys, and they'd have girl on girl. And stuff like that. But, yeah, same like uh, man, man uh, two men, and then one girl like that. Right? I... You see that in porn movies, but mm -hmm. I, but I, I don't know if, if a girl want that. Would you want that? Two guys and because you have two guys doing it at the same time, one's going in the back door. No, I don't. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. Make a love show. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's common. At all, but you never try. No. What's the topic? <laughs> What's the topic? <laughs> it's a plus. I got the plastic drop cloth and a bottle of milk oil and prepared. <laughs> Manok eight is prepared. We're not doing a film. We're just talking about it, man. Out gate. <laughs> so just talking about it, should be, you should be okay. <laughs> no, no, I, only I just don't know if threesomes are popular or or that well. Everybody's heard of it. Did you ever try? You? No, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? Interesting. I wish you experienced one. I just wanted to be the. Want me doing anything to anybody? <laughs> Joe, okay. some guys, some guys, some girls doing that, yeah. What? Two girls and one guy. Mm hmm One girl and the two guys, two girls, and then one guy is like that. Yeah, I'm sure it's popular, but I don't know if it happens at parties. I know Man Elk, I mean, Philip, Philip Janik. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he, where he worked, 
uh, couples, uh, the man would watch him having sex with his his wife, which is his the guy's wife. So I found that interesting. But that I don't, don't think would be a threesome. Threesome is actually in physical reality. I just don't know how. Uh, well, you haven't experienced it. I haven't experienced it. Philip. He's our expert. Maybe expert. Where's the expert? <laughs> Maybe they're the expert. <laughs> well, so, but the subject is, well, would you ever have a threesome? I know it's good. I got uh, I got chocolates here. For me, it would be on my girlfriend option of my girlfriend. My girlfriend said no, then it's no. But if girlfriend would agree to it, mm -hmm. she had a friend, sure. But I don't wouldn't bother me at all. But I don't think most women. I think women would be jealous and wouldn't want that to happen, or they just they wouldn't enjoy it. If you do with one, and then no jealousy because <laughs> you know you're fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> they're, they're coming. They're, they're coming. They're coming, Joe. They're coming. Well, so if you were dating somebody and the guy said, I wanted to do a threesome, would you allow another girl into that for one night? Philip is, yes, yes. Philip is a swinger. <laughs> More than a swinger, for sure. But Honeycomb, just imagine this. So you're dating a guy. Mm -hmm. The guy's dream, dreaming has a threesome. So would you allow uh, one time for to another girl and you and him to have a, a one-night stand? Would you be okay with that? And block me, dear. No. <laughs> Why did you did you block did you block I I too? No. Maybe someone maybe on my channel someone else did. Maybe someone blocked him on my channel. Who blocked you? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> like for you, would you be interested in trying a threesome? Mm, just wonder. You. Why you allow MC Josh to block me? All I said was I don't like his scene. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, that's... So Josh blocked you. No problem. So I'll go back in the stream yard and I'll unblock you. So you'll be good for, for next time. That's funny. Bad mood. Hi, hi. It was not Darren Blocky last night. I was at last. It was one of the co-hosts was watching the whole the whole time. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, yeah. Anybody that has a moderator jack uh, jacket can. Uh, <laughs> out. That's funny. I don't like your singing. Oh yeah, block. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> oh, you're not blocked. Only timed out. Okay, blocked or timed out? I don't know. Uh, no problem. I do. You can come back again. Did, did someone get blocked in the three? <laughs> that that'd be a serious conversation. I don't. Like, uh, like maybe there's girlfriends, girlfriends that are, are that uh, have a place together. And they go out and grab a guy. Maybe that happens. So mm -hmm. rather than two guys, maybe they go out and pick one guy. I don't know. It depends both of you if agree with your partner or okay with the three stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> exactly. But Haniko. No. No. <laughs> no. She's not interested in a threesome. But, but they're, they're my, oh, you got water. I got my water too. Mm, cheers. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, there's some uh, male fantasy 
of a guy uh, guy sleeping with two two women. That's a common, I think, a common male fantasy. So it's, uh, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's a female fantasy. <laughs> yeah, it's, some guys, some guys doing that threesome. The threesome normally partner hire someone. The threesome is normally a, a partner hire someone you do not know. It's most likely happen when the couple go for a vacation. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> See, I'd be scared having a uh, a third person in a in a threesome that I didn't know. You know, if it's somebody you don't know, you know, they could have an STD or you never know what. So, mm -hmm. but if it's a but if it's a, if it's a friend, a lonely friend, or something like that, who knows? I can see maybe that happening, but since it rarely happens. You know, here. A birthday gift from good partner, right? That could be. I, but so your girlfriend or wife would hire or have a friend uh, for a birthday gift. That would be interesting. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> but the thing is, Remember, it's a threesome, so all three people are participating. It's just not a one. It's just not a birthday gift. A birthday gift for uh, that you're sleeping with them. It's a threesome. Uh, maybe, it would, maybe the woman would have to be bisexual. Maybe if the woman was bisexual, then maybe I, I maybe the woman would agree to it more. So uh, maybe. <laughs> Are you bisexual? No, it's right. <laughs> Just asking. I like only banana, Darren. Don't me. <laughs> only banana. Okay, no problem. Too bad if there is an STD. It is your risk to take. Of course, you have to go to a high and first class escort where the agency makes sure their workers are safe and health check regularly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's no guarantee, though. HK uh, baking us with that woman in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby in the house. Make a love shout out. Bobby, how are you? <laughs> hey, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby's a great singer, too. Yeah. Yeah. Really Bobby, bad. and then Barry, and you, of course. <laughs> your your screen's always opposite. You're always see. I'm pointing towards you now. Am I pointing towards you? Please. I'm pointing at you. Can you see me pointing at you? There you go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, because I used in the stream yard with the what they call this one, um, mirror. See, see, even even in my thing, if I point towards you right there, still correct. Mm -hmm. Not there. See, it's pointing towards you. How about that? Yeah, you yeah, you're pointing yeah. correctly. Yeah, see, you're pointing correctly. I'm yeah. Pointing. That's what I see. <laughs> She's <laughs> figured it out. Uh, all I know now is I'm, I am in a Vietnamese nail spa. And my feet is getting good massage. Good enough, then threesome. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe. That sounds amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe in Vietnam. No, it's a Vietnamese nail spa, not in Vietnam. <laughs> you always ask. <laughs> that sounds good. How much does it cost? Because it's expensive. How much does it cost, Joe? Wait yes, in your intro. <laughs> really, Bobby? <laughs> if, if you don't, if your your spouse isn't agreeable to it, of course. Yeah, if, it, if it was free, 
You get one or two? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you set a market? I can imagine. What imagine? Imagine you're dating someone, and you have a threesome, and the and the and this and the uh, the sex is so good with the second, the the second person, and you break up with your girlfriend to go with the other person. Maybe that's what she's worried about. Because <laughs> usually there's feelings when you. When you have an intimate relationship, there's feelings that go along with that. So I can imagine that could be awkward. <laughs> but maybe the girls are just, ooh, $80, $80 for manicure and pedicure. Wow, nice. expensive joke. It seemed like $3,000, $3,000, Oh, Naku. Hi, Naku. That's also a good dinner out as well. But hey, you deserve it, Joe. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. Dollars. No way. That's why I see Philip because uh, uh, that's the first. I don't know. If, uh, have you ever been asked, Honeyco, participate oh. in a threesome? I never tried that. Oh. <laughs> You ever been asked? Didn't say you did it. Have you ever been asked? <laughs> so that that has always been the case for me, Darren. I always feel something. There you go. <laughs> I wanted a good partner who can do good romance. Don't need threesome in this case. Well, I'll laugh out loud. Uh, Twenty nails, eight dollars. Good deal. <laughs> Twenty nails, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my name, Joe. Awesome. <laughs> See, I think uh, Joe. I think in the case of like Philip, things he's he's remember he's done three hundred uh, sex acts in one year, so I can imagine get boring. So I'm sure he's tried everything. So maybe that's one additional thing he's done. Yeah. Hi, Mike. There, Pretty Honeyco. Mike mm -hmm. went home in the house. Are you going to try it? No. <laughs> Never try it. <laughs> She's so off. <laughs> well, never say never, Honeyco. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I want only. <laughs> I love a three some burger place in milkshake <laughs> uh, Mike here for <laughs> but I think it would be hard to find a guy to participate in a threesome it sounds like it would be difficult for to find a girl that would uh, agree to be in a threesome but I think if they're working like in Thailand or a strip club they had no problem Mm -hmm. Oopsie, accidents happen. <laughs> uh, I want threesome karaoke. <laughs> That's why I have to ask my friend. Uh, ask my friend who was in a. Uh, let me see if I can call him. It'll be interesting. We'll see if I can call him. Oh. My friend who worked in a strip club. So let's see. Um, uh, let's see. See, that number's not working, so we'll try the other one. Hi, Steve. Good morning, Australia. <gasps> did they, did they? <laughs> Uh, hey, stay frosty. Megalo, shout out. How are you? You're in Tony Strip Club delivery. <laughs> no, my friend worked at a strip club. So I I'll ask him. No, 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 no. It's always good to. Uh, demanding. If you have the connections, use them, right? 
We want to see if you'd come up on our live stream. Okay. For about two years. Oh. Aha, you need three Santa. <laughs> I know a married couple, the woman would occasionally bring home a girlfriend. Worked okay for two. Oh, there you go. So it does happen. So stay frosty wants to know would HK have a threesome? Then the wife dumped the husband and kept the girl permanently. Really? That's crazy. I don't like stay. I want only banana, no sharing. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one. Can I ask him? Kick. No way you can in. have two women in your life. Very long, jealousy. <laughs> it wouldn't be a long term thing. How are you doing, Lawrence? What's What's up? Can you do loudspeaker? Uh. <laughs> Much later tonight, like more after midnight or something like that. Okay. Okay, no problem. So uh, text me when, because I know your cell phone works, so that's good. So uh, te I'll text you and see if you're awake. All right, talk soon. Bye, brother. So he's at work. <laughs> Don't know where he's working, but I'll find out tonight. <laughs> no man, let's leave this day. I want two husbands. One to maintain the cleanliness of the house and cook and do laundry. One to work work and bring money. Would be <laughs> that's ideal. That's ideal. Why can't you have a man that does both? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and then woman fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's cultures where um, obviously Middle Eastern cultures they can have multiple wives uh, it seems to work out for them but I can't see it working out for uh, Western people so why guys allow two girls not a woman <laughs> correct yeah exactly so girls uh, they're happy to have two guys it doesn't bother me just, I don't want to be involved in it. <laughs> I don't want to be sword fighting. <laughs> sword fighting. <laughs> like sword <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. No, thank you. But hey, who, who knows, right? See, and how would it work? How would it work? <laughs> I've seen some movies. <laughs> I want to involve in some point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get cut. I don't know if it's a, a girl's. Uh, I don't know if it's a girl's fantasy to have two guys, but it's you know I have no idea. But. Uh, but it's it's possible, but uh, but I don't know. Have you ever had a fantasy, Honey Co? Having two guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Proper etiquette when entering two tubs. <laughs> Bumping ugly, huh? Uh, uh, entering two tubs. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw it in the news one time. Two husbands because she loves both. Both agreed to be with her on schedule. Wow. See, yeah, that's there you go. See, people can fall in love with more than one person, but 
If you have well, one <laughs> white person, then you're okay. Only the like, you know, yeah, but still, there's the women can get to the mouth and the vagina as well. So that that's an option. It doesn't have to be the vagina and the anal. <laughs> <laughs> Until you know, <laughs> no, she's being honest. She says, No, I haven't done it. Nope, I don't want to do it. Nope, I mean, it's, she's very, very. I never yeah. tried. Three, no. some never. 35 conversation. Yes, PG is not PG 18, it's PG 35. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know this was a PG-35 conversation. <laughs> Parental guidance. Our How are you doing, Jeffrey? Yeah. Do divorce lawyers charge double and three bums break up? <laughs> if they all get individual lawyers, it will be triple the cost. Uh, <laughs> but I, that's true. Other than uh, I remember... Joe, it's funny. I remember from quite a few years ago, I remember there was a relationship with a, with three people. I don't know if it was... I remember it was a guy. I remember the guy. And I don't know if it was two guys and a girl or two girls and a guy. But I remember them being on a agreeable relationship. And it was... I don't think they all lived at the same house uh, or something like that. But I remember that. I'm great. Thanks, Darren. Nice to see you, Jeff. How's how's the YouTube going? Jeffrey's a great guy. Hi, Baloo John. Mega love shout out. Nice to see you. I slept with my two friends in one bed, what is normal in Philippines. Uh, no, no mouse. Oh, there you go. There you go. At the same time, Joe? <coughs> Uh, never know. There you go. Well, in a threesome, if the man gets tired, the two women can take over while he gets. <laughs> there, there you go. Take over while Yeah, it depends. It's true, because if it's a guy and two women, that's what I mean. If the would the woman. Want to have a sexual relationship with herself, if, as well as the guy. Does the woman have to be bisexual? Not necessarily. John reporting from the state. With, I it's it's a three. <laughs> John reporting the state with the highest income. What states has the most threesomes? It's probably either Calif probably California. That's what I would guess. California, U.S. Yeah, USA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the state of California, because that's most probably liberal state in the United States is California. Uh, IT is going great. Still enjoying my experience. Excellent. Just enjoy it. Don't burn yourself out. It was the case, Darren, in the one I told you about. Oh, okay. There you go. Why this going great? Still, any of them experience California nation. <laughs> Californication. <laughs> Fornication is fornicating was having sex Maybe. with someone. Californication, <laughs> the state of California. What about the cultures here where some men have seven or more wives? Uh, what well, the heck are they thinking? If in the Muslim, I don't know what the maximum is, honey. Cole, do you know if it's seven? Uh, five, five wives in a Muslim, five. Yeah, and it's is they usually have. Yeah. If they can afford, the guy was in Oman. I was asking about that. It says if they can also afford to have another wife, because that's uh, mm -hmm. that's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, you if you can afford. Wife, to Support with them, so you can you can take a five wives or six wives or ten wives. Did you say five, six, or ten? Five, I think, is the max. Mm -hmm. But uh, but the one Joe on TV, 
Uh, I don't think that couple that had, I don't know if it was one guy and two different girls that agreed to it. I don't think it lasted, that that kind of relationship lasted. So maybe it would be have to be a kind of like a one, one-time thing. It's a one-time experience. Uh, so that's what, that's what I think. That's all I can think of is we a one time like like you say someone said for someone's birthday or something like that. Uh, that would be great if, if all five wives had a job. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to remember if I talked to a Muslim Muslim lady if how they feel about it, how they feel about it. Because it does the does the gentleman uh, can like talk to his wife about it if he's gonna have another wife? Does she have a say? Sleepy. Just comfortable. Full yeah, full times yes and all. <laughs> Lots of overtime. Then you Maybe connect you that, that link HK and make them as your guests. Oh, there you go. I think it's called a pin. <laughs> <laughs> like for paying things, like I remember at strip club, Pim they're just Pim. paying it. And yeah, that that was uh, that was that case. Let's see the link. The culture that have similar doesn't mean. I think that we have schedules. Stay frosty. Same like Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Can you imagine five women tampo? <laughs> uh, Bobby, but you have five wives. Is it possible that all five would tamper you at the same time? I want threesome karaoke. There you go. That would. That's always good. The singing is always good. <laughs> But yeah, but multiple. I don't think a long term would survive. But but for the Muslim culture, it uh, it works. Seven bathrooms to clean. Because <laughs> uh, I assume the Muslim uh, guy uh, is always getting younger and younger wives all the time as he grows older. I'm assuming you'd be marrying a younger wife. Like Thirty. 20, 30, 30 like that. <laughs> Eating people are seven. No, definitely not. <laughs> uh, the cultures that have seven wives doesn't mean all seven. That's true. I think you're right, Steve Frosty. But that would be disappointing for the first wife or the oldest wife. You know, yeah, still there, you know what, darling? It's still there, the jealous thing, you know, if you have seven wives or five wives. Oh, I can imagine, yeah, definitely, definitely. All trying to get the man's attention because the woman, the woman can have multiple husbands, I know that, but the man can have multiple wives. So, I find that really interesting. Hey, people are not saying, yes, I know, that's for sure. But yeah, for sure. But nah, I don't know. But threesomes, it'd be interesting. That's why I want Philip Janet could be interesting. He's here. Is how, because people, I don't know if they paid him for it or asked him to participate, but I'm sure it was just um, a couple that wanted some excitement. So they asked Philip to join in. And of course, Philip being a sex addict said, sure. Are <laughs> you? Are you sex? I was just sex. Time. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. no, you're wrong. You have octopus sex. <laughs> yeah. no, I John, John See, I don't know, John Blue John. I've, I've never known <coughs> a Muslim man that had multiple wives 
to talk, but that would be an interesting subject to, to talk to someone like that. But there's a lot of OFWs. And I'm wondering if any of those OFWs know, I'm sure they can't talk about it. But after they've left, it would be interesting to ask, how was it? Five wives a cook, a cleaner. Yeah, five wives. Who was three first good cook? For me, you I like would five wives. wives oh, too many. No. If you find when you find one you love, that's good enough. I'd find it hard to say, say for example, you love two wives. Well, which one do you love more? Right? Then it comes into that situation. There's two different wives. Which one do you love more? Jealousy between wives. Which one gets more attention? Yeah, jealous is there. Because girls they want attention. Tampoos everywhere. Tampoons. <laughs> right, Darren. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Are you talking no about the names you want? I want one. I want one to stay frosty. One's good for me. One's good for me. I don't think you'd find uh, a woman or two women that would agree. Even though it's happened, I've seen it online. Like Joe's seen it. I think I've known one relationship. There were there were three in a relationship, but I don't think it lasted. So I can't imagine. If it's a one-time thing, a sexual thing, sure, maybe it'll happen. Uh, is watching two women live stream at the same time a threesome? No. Sex is important in a relationship, but it isn't a deal breaker. There are circumstances that could end that, injuries, etc. Then you see a strong love. That's right, Billy. Bobby, that's exactly right. Good, Good. Honey. Mm-hmm. I want to be the one and only. Yep, there you go. Hi, hey, thank Ernest. you, Ernest, for the super chat. Appreciate that. That's, but that's something. There's uh, like an injury and stuff like that, uh, Bobby. Maybe there's also toys. Like for the woman, there's toys, right? So there's different things that. If we have an injury, there's their toys. Same thing with the women. If, it's, if there's something, there's still options, I think. But mm -hmm. you have to marry your best friend. What if you don't have best friend? But we're just finished the season. <laughs> I always say marry your best friend or don't marry at all. <laughs> sex, sex starts and then goes down from there. I've I've no, never heard of in a relationship the sex is constantly all the time, other than uh, maybe Philip. Yeah. So I, I've never seen sex increase. Usually, it's very it's fun, and then it slowly decreases. Your best friend is a guy to. Yeah, but I have guys and girlfriends, but if you're going to marry a girl, make sure she's your best friend, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, <laughs> get threesome done. <laughs> We're not doing a threesome with another guy. But thanks for asking. <laughs> Guy friends and girlfriends are different too. Different okay. stuff you talk about. I have an open mind for sure. And we will not need another one. I am more than enough for everything. There you go. Yay. Well, 
That's true. I agree. I agree. Women are almost do too much, Joe. Like, say, for example, women are working in North America. Then they're cleaning, laundry, taking care of the kids and stuff like that. It needs to be more, more balanced. So, I, I can't imagine... Like a man and a woman, but they both work, they should share their responsibilities as well. Or hire a third person to help with things like cleaning and stuff like that. Instead of the woman having to do it. It's so old fashioned nowadays. <laughs> we had a bucket of kids once in bed, best threesome ever. I agree. <laughs> that would be good. Mile eight. Dinner in bed? Mm-mm. -mm. And KFC is so good. Full, so, so good. I agree. Whoa, internet <laughs> One of the no one is something. One of the no one of the speaker is something every man should experience. You know. Because? There you go. <laughs> there you go. See, I totally agree. <laughs> Love eight. But you got to be a great, get an agreeable partner or girlfriend. Salam. Uh, sabi ko sa inyo, mag-usokin. Watch Fun uh, internet monster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's what have it should be. Yeah, we don't know till we get there. <laughs> I, don't know what it, I don't know what heaven's going to be like, but it should be interesting. I know that Huh? You said this Huh? Nothing. <laughs> it was um, sounds like I'll be involved in that. I'll be lady boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as I always say, it's uh, uh, hard finding. Oh, you, your partner, your partner have to agree to it, and then they would have to find either someone they don't know or someone they do know. <laughs> That would be very interesting conversation. <laughs> but it usually ends pretty quickly. You just ask. No. Me. <laughs> so it's a simple. <laughs> you just ask him what would say no. I think she said she has a finger for you, dear. <laughs> Pull the finger. <laughs> You're not my devil's den. <laughs> my finger. Usually, a man has a finger for the woman, but not. but no, it it seems that like pretty much common. That's why I want to talk to people. I'll well, talk to Lawrence. We'll see if I can get him up as a guest. He's working now, but just to see, is anybody? Participated in a threesome. That's why I want to know. They will stand. I know they Philip build. has. That's <laughs> why I want to talk to Philip. Hopefully Philip comes in. So we can get the scoop. Because it because a couple, some couples, they need some excitement. Isn't having 22 virgin waiting in some cultures? I've heard that as well. I don't know if it's 22 virgins. I didn't, uh, but yeah, I've heard virgins. Yeah, in Muslim, Baren, you're not married if you're not a virgin. Huh? Yeah, in Muslim, if you're not virgin, you cannot marry. You cannot marry if ah. you're not virgin. Muslim? Yeah. Oh, I know it. I know in Indian cultures, um, I remember back seeing in Indian cultures, once they get married, they're waiting outside for the blood to 
the the sheet or whatever to come out with them running with the blood and then they celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. OMG yeah. Internet Monster had the force of in Pattaya. <laughs> Where's your donation, Joe? Donation, Joe. You can afford it after you eat. <laughs> Uh, not twenty two birds <laughs> in the Philippines. Ah, uh, you can't tell people to donate. You could donate. Even even uh, even my stri live stream. I don't ask people to donate. I don't ask people to join. If they do it, I thank them. It goes to work charity. But I don't ask anybody to donate. I don't tell anybody to. You well, know, Darren. I'm never asked. There you go. There you go. Same thing. I don't either. I just make an option. It, it helps because uh, my membership goes up and down. It doesn't matter to me. I make it the cheapest as possible. 99 cents. It's just because if people want to join, they can. Mm -hmm. and that, that's it. But, but I never ask for a donation. People want to donate. It's all going to charity. So if they donate, no problem. I spend more in charity than I get. So. Joe uh, and <laughs> Joe's sending fingernails in Leo, Leo donation. Exactly. <laughs> Those fake nails. Do they glue on top? Yeah, that's um they call uh, fake nails. Yeah. Do they just glue them on top? Mm hmm Okay, there you go. Hi, Paul. In the red monster, I go in the chickens. And be interesting. They last as long as how hard you are. How long, how long do they last, Honeyco? The fake nails. It depends. Five days like that. Oh, that's it? Five days? Mm -hmm. Yeah, only five days. One week, seven days. What happens after five, seven days? They fall off? Yeah, because it's only glue. They put glue okay. there. And then if you always put water, just just remove it. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't know there was that short. Okay, Darren, if you're talking way, you're talking... Here in your channel, I would get banned. Is that not a double standard? No, I don't block people. So, that, my other people in the chat, if they get offended, they might. Uh, so, <laughs> so now, now I, I leave it very, very open. My channel, very open. But if other people get offended or want to protect the host, they're moderators to protect. So, I guess they were trying to protect. Yeah. Fake nails are dangerous. If you ask a girl to stick finger in bottle. <laughs> nails, nails, I, I don't know. Uh, if you put anything in the bottle, <laughs> let alone fake nails. Uh, but they're, they're, I'm sure they're pretty sturdy. My mom used to wear fake nails. Hi, Kelly. There was she, she was a secretary. Hi, Kenny. There were twin sisters running around Angelus a few years ago. You might have seen the. Oh, really? Angelus City in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. No, I don't go to XXX videos. I did when I was younger. <laughs> Why are you laughing? My eyes. Is there a mirror there or what? You're just getting so close. Yeah, my camera is mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Wait. interviewing them tomorrow. Is that Ricky? Is that Ricky drama? Ooh. That would be cool. That would be a good interview. Actually, that's a good suggestion. When I'm in the Philippines, uh, interview interesting people. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, uh, 
<laughs> I do it in the salon, so it lasts until I go back to salon for up to at least four to six weeks. Then they fix it again. Okay. Also, one month then, at least one month. HK checking to be sure your brow not growing back. <laughs> uh, do you wax or shave? I don't know how to get rid of the. There's extra hair. Do you, it comes like they pull it. I've seen people do eyebrows with a string. Yeah, they um, what they call this one. Um, yeah, they use wax also. Wax here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Anyone I've expressed a for you last six months? Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely glue for sure. Glue is good. I have no idea what to use for. For nails and in a salon that Joe's going to, but minimum four to six weeks or one month, that is great. Yeah, it's yeah. only six. It depends. It depends. You're not washing. You're not doing anything like that. Yeah. yeah. What honeymoon? Internet monster. <laughs> honeymoon. I am you mean it's K L O N. <laughs> Super glue. There's, I think, the best glue that I've come across is a gorilla glue. What's the glue? glue yeah. <laughs> what the good one? Internet monster. Monster glue. It's the evil. Yeah, our gorilla glue is the best. Yeah, it stays in if you. It stays in even if you wa wash dishes. There you go. There you go. There's amazing stuff out there. I tell you. It stays in if you wa uh, wash dishes. There you go. There you go, guys. So you get the great glue, and then, then do you know the name of the glue, Joe? Mighty one. Probably something. It's probably something using a nail salon. So it has to be safe enough in a, to use in a salon. Can't imagine them using uh, Gorilla Glue inside a salon. Monster. Maybe I use Monster Glue, um, Darren. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. It's awesome. That's pretty much it. We pretty much know where everybody stands on dating so, or not dating threesomes. I don't have threesome. I want only one banana. <laughs> Super glow in the Philippines. Mighty one, right? In the Philippines. My cousin. Hey, Mike. Cousin told his ex-wife, "Let's have a threesome." He told her, "You pick two, and I'll pick two." <laughs> ah, ex-wife. Can't imagine it. Uh, having inter, having a physical relationship with an ex-wife. There's a reason why it ended. Uh, Kenny says, men out eight. I'll be bar hop in Barreto tonight. We'll stop by the bar where Ricky. Yes, he's oh, oh, okay. Now, he, did he leave his phone in Davao? Was it Davao he was? Oh, Davao, no. So big. Darren Prosen. Prosen. 
Yeah, so big, right? Oh, I don't really... <laughs> I do acrylic gel deals. I don't like acrylic. Hello? So big. I do acrylic nails. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Nia, nails are not my specialty. But I like because only one day, one day, I just put gloves and then totally remove it. <laughs> remove the nails? No, acrylic gel. Acrylic, acrylic <laughs> uh, nails. Balloon. Okay. Darren fell asleep. Yes, Bobby's. <laughs> Rick and Ron both leave trails. Can you talk about be be more Ron. OMG, oh, be more Ron is the wrong and Baltimore. <laughs> Win people. <laughs> Go well, MJ Darren, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, see? Thing no. Darren, <laughs> Did you pay your bills, Darren? Yeah, it's just too many internet. I have two kids and me, everybody using the internet. Ah, so. okay. It's like Ron's stream where people freeze. Are we on um, next topic? Sure. We can move on to the next topic for sure. Yeah, because it's almost, uh, almost one hour for sure. Yeah. Okay, honey, Cole, is sex important in a relationship? Maybe I say yes. <laughs> yes? You yes. got a thumbs up. Is it the most important thing in a relationship? Mm-hmm. It is? <laughs> it's a part. I <laughs> know it's, oh, it's part. It was, uh, uh, but is it the most important? Maybe earlier on in a relationship, maybe. But as Bobby and I say, it's still best to be best friends. So communication is key as well. OMG. Hey. I'm having sex twice. <laughs> yeah. Best for, for sure. the football, yes. That's why I find it interesting that Religion doesn't allow people to have sex before they get married, even though everybody does it. But some people wait till they get married. So that could be awkward. Hi, girls in the house. Oh, yes. Oh, Shout out. <laughs> Goggles baited too. The topic always gets gets people for sure. <laughs> yeah, because they want they want threesome. They want <laughs> make love well, to you know. Well, but not only sex is. What about if there's only one position only? So is, what the best reason? Yeah. Uh, one second. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Darren, where you go? I visit Doctor. Okay, not for big glasses. 
Maybe that and find a threesome. I haven't found a threesome yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. Are you looking for a threesome, Darren? <laughs> no, I have to ask my girlfriend first. I don't. My girlfriend that thumbs down, so I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> but <laughs> then, see. then after finding my girlfriend said thumbs up, then we would have to find another person that would agree to it. Hi, Naku. Hi, <laughs> so. Naku. Hi, <laughs> Naku. But yeah, I think uh, as well in sex and relationship is. Different positions, different experiences, because it can get very boring, 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 boring. Yes, what there needs sight with far and near. Yes, I'm actually nearsighted, so I can see here. I use these for far sighted. Uh, bat position oh, is newly had experience. Bat positions upside down, because bats usually upside down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell us about it, HK. Okay, HK, what do you have to tell us? What's that man on eight? Best position. <laughs> that is decided that this far and near. Uh, Darren, uh, what is it? Hi, Harriet. Uh, I guess, yeah. No, because sex is important, but you have to learn. This is another thing. How do people learn different things in sex? They, you know, it's not porn. What else do people learn? I guess there's some places on YouTube and the and Google you can learn different things to make a relationship interesting. How about Kamasutra, right? Is <laughs> is uh, Bobby says you wouldn't. Buy a new car without a car drive. This was a long term thing. You need to be sure. Yeah, some religions, I agree, but uh, some religions don't uh, allow it. Doesn't mean people wouldn't. Because I'm Catholic, but uh, I have no problems. Just experiment. There you go. Absolutely. <laughs> Experimentation is fun. I think it's I think it's awesome. Try different times. You got to keep it exciting. Cuz a marriage is for life. Marriage is for life. So you got to have it. And, it's, and sex is important. Both women and men need service, so you don't, don't want them to wander off. So Wait. keep it exciting for sure. Wait long. Uh, it's true. How do you learn? There's only Google, YouTube, porn sites. Maybe. I don't know if you'd ask friends. So. <laughs> She's hiding. She's hiding. Uh, I want threesome karaoke. <laughs> Oopsie, accident happened. Okay. There you go. Uh, Kama Sutra, a wallpaper in bedroom. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I think that's awesome. Also, there's uh, different massage techniques you can learn on YouTube. So that's always good. BM is in the house. Mega love shout out. Mm. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. 
Welcome. Okay. Blocking those glasses. Back mirrors like a car. Not if it top was these in the back. <laughs> no, I don't need mirrors to watch topless ladies. Even though it doesn't bother me, people are topless. If they were topless, it wouldn't bother me either way. Yeah, but that I've never like been to a new deep show, but that would be. <laughs> what do I like? You like sexy, sexy girls, right? Of course, who wouldn't like sexy girls? But you can only have one. You can maybe look, but you can't touch. <laughs> girls like good-looking guys. Guys look good, look good-looking girls. It's all the same thing. Uh, Darren, uh, your sex life must have been boring. Asking, how do you learn? <laughs> no, for me it wasn't because I learned off of uh, watching porn, so it's fine. But I'm talking generally, how would other people learn? So, <laughs> I just think, <laughs> and maybe your partner has different ideas. Like maybe, maybe, maybe sure. Do, do you know a lot, or do do you know a lot? You experience with this. <laughs> now, we, see, we both Haniko and I are learning off Philip, Philip Janek. But uh, do you know a lot of different positions? No. <laughs> She's being very quiet. My <laughs> uh, friend from USA was topless back in 80s. Ginger Lynn and Tricia Lawrence, Kena Moss, still my friend. Cool. Because in where I live, it's, it's, it's fine. You can be topless. It's legal. But a lot of people, it's not socially acceptable. And no one really does it, but people want proper tan lines. That's why. But there's a nude beach in Toronto, on Toronto Island, so people could go there if they want a suntan and get a tan. For me, I would just burn because I'm white, 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 and the sun would just burn me. And your girlfriend wear topless or two piece or one piece, that right? See, I think uh, bikini is sexy, but if they wear one piece, is fine by me. <clears throat> For me, would I, would I care if she was topless? It was on, or it was nude on a nude beach, it wouldn't matter because everybody's that way. But walking around topless in public, I'd feel awkward because it's uh, not socially acceptable. So, yeah, here we just <laughs> worth <laughs> just. Uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, they don't they get don't to know. 10 cars, they just turn to bacon. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, it on women, you can tell what kind of a bikini a woman has if she's topless because there's a triangle or or whatever <laughs> where, where they're covering their breasts or whatever. So, they that's why they get super stringy bottoms and stuff like that because they, they want to tan. But mm -hmm. there's only... I don't know what the minimum would be to cover cover in your breasts, but... Uh, but people in North America or in USA, they like to go to the beach and get a tan. So that's where some sort of uh, tanning lotion so they don't burn. So... But yeah, for sure. But yeah, I but I when I get a burn, I turn red, and then if it's really bad, then I start to peel the next day because I burn too much. I show my I only show my only ball local restaurant. Now I've been working there fifteen years. Two thousand twenty-two. Oh, well, two thousand to two thousand twenty-two is twenty-two years. But I showed my only ball. Yeah. My That's only awesome. One. My only That's... one. What? <laughs> hey, you know, things happen, I guess. I don't want to get into details. You can ask, not me. 
One ball. That one ball, Gargis. <laughs> what do you do? Things can happen. Accidents can happen. You never know. <laughs> They're like ballerinas. Uh, they can try, but they will never su succeed having our Asian delicious skin complexion. There you go. I volunteered to apply the tanning uh, tanning mm -hmm. lotion to most women. I'm picky. <laughs> I applied to be apply the tanning lotion. <laughs> Just to make it apply. So put it in. Uh, yeah, yeah. You could probably get away with it, Bobby. I I could get away with it, but if you just ask, you know, because if because sometimes they turn over their back, so you can volunteer there. And then if, but I think they can do their own front with tanning lotions. So I don't think you'd get anybody asking. But I'm sure the back would be fine. Song of the day. Why that and you do in the front? <laughs> If someone asking you, can you put me on lotion, please? <laughs> but I don't know why they would ask. Then they're just hitting on you because why can't they put on their own lotion on the front? I can see someone asking to the back. That's fine. But I've never asked anybody to put suntan, suntan lotion, of course, family and friends when you go out, make sure your ears, back of the neck, all that area. But, but a woman, if she's nude, Asking someone to do their chest, they're just hitting on you for sure. <laughs> yes, true, but what the heck, just offer. Okay, but just duck if she disagrees. <laughs> so, if someone asking me, about the about the talk with th uh, threesome with two versions, not after that. <laughs> It's hard enough. I don't think you'd get any. Well, you, I don't say you would, but it's tough enough to getting anybody, any people to agree to a threesome, let alone trying to get virgins. I don't know. I think that would be very tough. Uh, but I was so drunk to ask from one, are you still? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't, I, I don't know how a woman would react if you, react if you ask if they're a virgin. Mm -hmm. I guess they're okay. It depends. Just don't ask the first question. Uh, she was angry. You know, <laughs> accidents happen. But no, if you know someone good enough, you have a good talking relationship. You you can pretty much ask them anything, but not the first question: Are you a virgin? <laughs> Uh, have you ever got asked that, Honeycomb? Huh? Have you got asked if you're a virgin? She's hiding. What virgin? <laughs> I'm not virgin. <laughs> I know, but did you ever get asked if you're a virgin? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, my neighbor told me he's very upset about his wife nude sunbathing in the backyard. I told him I'm on the fence about it. <laughs> Looking oh, at the <laughs> <laughs> very <What>? nice. <laughs> it's naked. It's naked. It's naked. <laughs> uh, 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 what? That's funny. Gaga says, one time threesome with two ladyboys. What a shame. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. It was interesting because in some ladyboys, it's hard to tell. Because I think they might be taking something that gives them breasts or something, but it's hard to tell. Some ladyboys, uh, if they're small in stature, it would be hard to tell. Uh, but I got my one. Only one shaved. Okay, good. Are you a real Canadian, Darren? Uh, as in, do you want trailer park boys and carry a kilo of weed at all time? No, I'm real Canadian. I was born here. Uh, I don't watch trailer boys. I have seen it. 
uh, and which is from the East Coast. And you carry a kilo of weed. Not everybody smokes weed. Only about 25% of uh, people probably smoke, have smoked or do smoke weed in Canada. So it's only one quarter of us. So. No, I don't. Mm. Smoking anything is bad. The one thing I would do is uh, um, if you get, if you need it for a therapeutic, that you had extreme pain, you can get CBD oil. So it's not, it doesn't make you go high, but CBD oil you can take. And I would take that in an oil fashion, like even put oil on a salad. But I wouldn't, the actual weed with a THC, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't want to get high. So yeah. You never tried that, right? The tweet. Huh? That I, the, you never tried? No, I've never tried it. No. Okay, really my good. friends have, I have friends, definitely have friends that have weed. They take it to take away pain and stuff like that. Uh, but Taya, lady boys, too many good HIV or and use yaba. Mm -hmm. So careful, don't go with uh, Tom's. Oh. Go with my libs. I think lesbians. I think. So I I don't know how pervasive HIV is with lady boys or anything or with anybody or bar girls. I have no idea. Yeah, just thinking where they put lady boys to start fighting and then where they put. <laughs> Maybe they have their own like certain bars cater to lady boys and stuff like that. So it's easier for foreigners to find them and vice versa. Maybe there's certain clubs or bars. I'm guessing bars, but I don't know. Hmm. That's good to find out. I'll find out when I go into the Philippines. Hi, Mama. My advice, don't snake. Don't snake at all. <laughs> good, good point. If you want to be safe, for sure. Uh, you have a meta and metamphetamine. Uh, Gugas, you have a, it's dirty, lol. You know what? what's in it, right? Okay. Gugus and caffeine and pill. Only ladyboy and taxi driver take it. Oh. Okay. I helped one girl and was using Yaba in my room. Okay. So I let her go go give 500. Okay. Probably B. Once a woman doctor told me I had to so stop masturbating. I asked why. She said because it's Disrupting the physical. <laughs> I have to, I have to end it. You're in the doctor's appointment. Okay. That's funny. I love the jokes. So funny. You love uh, the jokes in the end? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's funny. <laughs> I think it's great. I love the I love the sense of humor. I like the the topics and it just people are really having a good time. That's what it's all about. Everybody I told laughs. you my brain. You know what? I told you my brain is working again. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? Someone's working again? It was working. I was seeing Philip Janik. Okay, but I picked her from the street near Old King, King yes. Street next to Mike Shopping. That time, time sign was different, and she was living there for three months. Okay. But my finish, but my finish, finish friend. Uh, 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 you know, it's, it's, I think it's cute. You keep pointing, honey boy. What about that one? <laughs> like that? What? What's this? <laughs> What's this? Are you pointing at me? Pointing at me. Yeah, I'm pointing. Yeah, you got it right. You always point mm -hmm. off. So you look at you, point opposite. 
Uh, you keep pointing the wrong way, honey. Look at the screen when you point. You'll see you're pointing the wrong way. <laughs> I know. Once you look at the screen, it's right. No, darling, I use mirror on the stream yard. That's why. Ah. You know, right? In the stream yard, you change, you put mirror like that. I did not. <coughs> I did not know you could do that. <coughs> yeah, which come is on. good. Because, which is good because if there's something writing behind you, it's opposite. You can flip it. That makes sense. I don't know how to do that though. Mirror image. I did yeah. not know. Come on, so go is also, can I join Honey and Darren? There you go. Panel. Yeah, come August on. Wants to be in the panel. Size six, size six. Yeah, make it a make it a trio. <laughs> you make it a trio, trio. So I don't know if you have to if the ladder's pinned or if you have to drop the ladder if you want Goggins to come up. Goggins is big. There he is. Tell the cop. Uh, hey. Somebody. Uh -huh. Somebody cup. Cup, cup. Cup, cup. Finnish friend. Is it Finland or Sweden? I think you're Finnish. Yeah. Finland. Finland. There. Yeah. there you go. Because, hey, you know, uh, you are from uh, what city? Canada. What city of Canada? Toronto. Uh, Toronto, yeah. Toronto, yeah. Maple, Toronto, Ma Toronto Maple Leafs. Yes. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they never, I, I, never I, I win. I, hey, I go and I go and tackle you. <laughs> <laughs> Number That's 99, cool. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, Wayne Gretzky yeah. never was on Toronto Maple Leafs, but. Yeah, but Canadian. But he is a Canadian. Hockey. He is Canadian. Always will be a Canadian. Number ninety-nine, Mr. Hockey. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet him. Let me see if I can picture stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mayor. Come on, hey, no. <laughs> my friend is sleeping on my couch. I have. Hey, I have two bedrooms, but I haven't. Of course, I cleaned them. But I sleep on the living room. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. No. <laughs> what's the, what's your drink of preference? Uh, come again, like my lady boy. What you, what do you what is your preference to drink? What do you like what to drink? I prefer I only yes. beer. Only beer. Yeah. Only beer. Yeah, I I like I like whiskey, but with whiskey I get angry. Sometimes. Oh, okay. But I I prefer whiskey, like you know, uh, Canadian whiskey, Seagram. Yeah. Uh, smoke taste and a little bit ice and no. Fucking Coca Cola or something, uh, straight up and a little bit ice and only one drop of water to make the taste better. Ah. Not not for me, not for me. What size? Only beer, only beer. With beer, I'm happy. With a uh, hard food, hard hard stuff, and I get angry, especially uh, whiskey. Um, but I I like uh, vodka. Yeah. Mm. I like uh, other things. So that's me, Wayne Gretzky. So that's me to the far left. There's oh. Wayne Gretzky beside me. 
Uh, what year? Oh, that would have been 10 years ago. 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I said the Ritz Carlton. There was a Ritz Carlton event, and he came to came he was came to our event. Yeah, and Wayne Kresky, Kresky it's just uh, one hell of a gentleman. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. It's kind of neat, neat to meet him. Very cool. Uh, what what kind of happening was that? If I may ask. It was it was a it was a magazine uh, launch, so it was our advertisers, our clients, our, our subscribers, yeah, yeah. and everything. So it was a magazine launch. It was good. Yeah. Cool. Now I, I I met some uh, hockey stars, but only Finnish, not Canadians. Yeah, some and... of the Finnish hockey stars play on, on Maple Leafs. As yeah, well. many, many, and. Uh, even of course in uh hockey, hockey there good old players like with Kretzky they have the same rings like uh Winnebeck times uh Yari Kurri and Esa Tikkana and so on. Absolutely uh, only Esa Tikkana and Yari Kurri with Kretzky. Yeah. Edmonton Edmonton times. Yeah. For sure, like, hockey is big in. Is, hockey must be really big in Finland as well. Uh, we are rated right number one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, this year we win the World Hockey Championship. Uh, what age? We, what age level? And this this year we win the Olympics gold medal. Yeah, there's so uh, many hockey organizations there. We are, there's a world we are, hockey league. There's different age levels, hockey leagues. Uh, we are in a sec second. Uh, last year, ranked as I'm number one. And mm. this is the second year in a mm. row, you know. Yeah, Gretzky did play for the LA Kings. He played for Edmonton Oilers first. Then he mm. went to uh, LA many, Kings, six, played for New York. Six, six. And LA. Yeah. Los Angeles. My friend is sleeping there on my place. He's uh, telling me and L L L A King. Yeah, yeah, he's, right. he's right. He's <laughs> right. All about the game. Hey, you know, all about the game. Thank you. <laughs> she's, no, my eyes. She's always going in. She's going, we, hey. Honey, honey. Yes. Whenever, whenever, and what kind of love you need to in this life, you need to try to how to skate on ice. I don't know. That. Yeah, but in this life, promise me. You don't have to promise nothing, but. Promise me you will skate on ice. To try it. Yeah. I'll try. You can I'll try, try it. You can try. Yeah. Don't say no. You can try. <laughs> you, you, if you had the opportunity to get like even J. Mike. Uh, it's like dancing, but it's on, on ice. <laughs> and you put some. Just shuffle along is pretty safe enough. Because even J. Mike's <laughs> wife, Norma, she tried it in the Mall of Asia. So even she tried it. I believe we have ice yeah. skate. Yeah. Ice skating. Ay. They have everything in the Mall of Asia. Mm -hmm. Then we teach you how to ski, uh, go to ski <laughs> on the winter. <laughs> Skiing is not something you enjoy. Yeah, that, that that that's gonna be a difficult one. Downhill skiing or alpine skiing is uh, uh, winter uh, cross country skiing. Okay, Bobby, thank you so much. Bye, Bobby. Your <laughs> yeah, cross country is good to start. You can have small hills.
Well, cross country so you can start skiing. And it's so day. easy, even downhill skiing, you can start in the bunny hills. You know, I don't know how to balance that, and maybe I fall down if I do. Yeah, I when do. you fall downhill, <laughs> you're going to fall down every, everywhere. But hey, <laughs> good thing, good it's thing, deep. if you fall down hard, uh, the snow is soft. It's not hard, it's soft. It's okay, like but you just. I it depends if it's been skied on a lot. If, 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 if no one's touched the snow, it, it can be a little soft, but it depends how thick it is, though. Because uh, hey, snow hey. on hard ground, you can go right through it. Hey, uh, name Dara and uh, Honey uh, best sports, what do you like? Best sports, I like volleyball. Yeah, boom Boom is number one. We know that. <laughs> we, we skip that. But what is better than Boom Boom? Yeah. Is that a sport? It's sport. Uh, hey, after seven hours, it is. <laughs> oh, I'm you asking a sport. But number, <laughs> for me, number one. Swimming because you don't sweat. Only sport that you don't sweat. Boom, boom which... you sweat a... Hey, with boom, boom, you sweat a little bit. You know? Well, yeah. well don't demonstrate it. <laughs> Sorry. But swimming, no sweating. You just swim and swim or back whatever but no sweating but with boom boom we you get at least dry sweat of course no sweat if the air condition is good but in like thailand sometimes only sip a uh, room and only fan there and no and after two hours little bit sweat for us you both when bodies go close and close and close and you like mm -hmm. feel together in one and you go like crazy and after seven hours you are like uh, seagulls <laughs> uh. yeah <laughs> In the day from go 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 sister. There you go. A five sum. In a five sum, you don't know who to thank. <laughs> uh, like boom boom sports. Which channel that? <laughs> hey. Go hey, may I? Uh, is it? English way, rest to both monger. I didn't meet Tom Ford, but I meet the uh, uh, Sun Black Mars, uh, Thai bar that time uh, in Sai, uh, Sai, 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 Boon. Google uh, it. <laughs> and, uh, I asked for where is Tom? No, Tom is not here, and I didn't understand that the bar was actually, it is actually part of uh, Thai bikers, not so friendly guys, but friendly bar, and they move along, but stay, stay <laughs> same, same <laughs> speed. Uh, He's my friend still now, but I didn't know one. I found myself in thinking with Thai guys and bikers. And one one Thai biker didn't speak any English. Come to me and bottle of brandy. Big bottle of brandy and we have to drink together. And the boss was the 
you are from Finland, you have to drink this bottle of brandy with this Thai, Thai biker guy. And I'm um, 183 centimeters long and that Thai was bigger than me. And it's like kind of impossible because Thai people are very, very not tall. They are. <laughs> I was okay. And that was my last hangover. And hello, hangover. And my uh, my girlfriend was like, you have hangover. You're not like a good boy. When I was banking <laughs> off, always saying to me, good boy. But uh, my girlfriend was a hard worker because working Burger King and, and, the, and the bar, two places, respect. <laughs> She's working in two places? Was that Finland? Yeah, uh, uh, Thailand, Pattaya. Oh, they're working in two places in Thailand? No, well, I'm in one place in Finland. <laughs> yeah, but my girlfriend worked two places, two works. Bur Burger King and uh, bar. I go to Yeah, I respect yeah. people that work uh, at these uh, fast food places because they get minimum wage or they work two jobs. Yeah. I yeah, respect yeah. Hey, I respect. Tomorrow there will people. be a dog with the bossa star from Manor Eight, yeah. Mm. Yeah, no problem. We're looking forward to tomorrow. That's good. One second. One second. Yeah, I stay. Excuse me. No problem. Hey, you don't have to excuse yourself because you are angel. Me and Darren, we have to excuse. Understand? What? Yeah. Well, I think I was talking yeah. about personal things with Tony. Live and I know croissant eating croissant or something. I can smoke. Now, Walmart, okay. Walmart, Stop many pretty girls. Stop eating, you're getting fatter. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a Zoom call in about 10 minutes. Then after that, I go on a live stream. After that. So it's busy, busy. Some meeting, Darren. Hey, do you have a own channel, Darren? Mm. I have my own YouTube your... channel, yeah. Ah, well, can I, mm. may I visit? Mm. Uh, Please, it's my name. It's easy, it's my name. Ah. Easy to find me. Okay. okay. Yeah, go there again. Yeah, no, so it's not for only uh, North Americans, Canadians. We can join there. And then yeah. watching all Filipinas is there. <laughs> all Filipinas in the chat. Is Bella Baby there? Angry Bella Baby. You're drunk. It's about 50 percent male, fifty percent female. No. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, beware, beware of Bella Baby from North Carolina. He will wipe your ass, sir. No, Bella Babe in North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, teasing, joking, whatever. Mm -hmm. Same, same. 
do you hey Philippines do you say say same same but different mm-hmm. mm. oh, Joe's camping camping is fun do Filipinos, <laughs> do Filipinos camp at all? They're already in the country, so I guess. But I'm wondering if Filipinos go camping. And they're very comfy. Yeah, they do. But I know, I know one from Philippines, uh, kind of named Michelle. Who? Uh, mm. What? Hey, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Today, I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. Dancing pool. You're dancing pool. Honey, honey's dancing pool. Hey, but um, I know one Michelle uh, from Philippines. And been my Facebook friend friend for since 2020. Hey, we we've uh, 12 years. Kokstosta mm-hmm. vuotta in Finnish. 12 years. How you say in Finnish? 12 years. 12 vuotta. Yeah, something like that, Joe. Girl Scout. <clears throat> I was girl scout. I love camping. It was so fun and you can actually connect to nature and just have peace with no electric or gadget as distraction. That's true. Mm-hmm. We're all attached to our computers and our phones. Nice trying to just let the technology shut down for a bit. Uh, but hey, my my holidays uh, and life uh, holidays. I don't use use the phone. Only take some pictures to my friends and. But I don't use the phone. I hate phones yeah. all the time. But I understand if you need because of your work or something. It's okay. But it's my way of living. I I spend on my laptop, uh, not laptop, uh, home PC. Yeah. Too many hours anyway. So I hate, I hate phones. For, for us, it's a, like a new language. So we had to learn all technology. So it helps with a lot of things. Like same thing, I use my phone for filming, for pictures, uh, communication, and that. But it's so much different now. But uh, technology is always changing. But if it doesn't work or it fails, that's where it gets really difficult. Just said a little. Uh, this, this is good. We are. Just said a letter. I, I see you, Darren. I see you, honey. But I hate phones. Mm-hmm. Sorry to say. It's okay. Mm-hmm. People are allowed to hate it if they want it. And uh, I, I, like, I like to keep my distance and privacy and nobody can call me up. Mm-hmm. When, I, when I close this uh, home PC, nobody, nobody can reach me up. Even emergency or something. Yeah. And, uh, my clo- we are my family. My bloodline is like dying breed. So not so many. They all understand and they say to me, "Cookies, it's all right." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, people people say I need it. People say I need it for emergencies or something yeah, like that. Okay. You know, I don't it's... hate. I don't hate the. I don't hate people, but I hate the system. You know, I hate. I hate the system when everybody can reach you and 
when you hear your uh, tele telephone uh, phone beep beep i hear that sound <coughs> i want smash that all, all over the wall i have yeah uh, this is my old no. This is this is my uh, new. I don't use. I don't use this, and and I have. have Why this. you don't use the blood? Uh, I don't hate people, but I I I don't like the system of we have to be involved and we have to be online all over the time you know um, but I, I guess i'm a little bit loner uh, Mara, help me out i'm a little bit loner or i'm in the woods or something <laughs> You're yeah, on your fine. own, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's still on the no. topic, no phone story. <laughs> of course, when I think, no phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're ha having an intimate relationship, turn off the phones or whatever. For me, when I travel, I put on airplane mode. So only when I'm connected to Wi Fi, but I don't have the, I can't have the volume on, on anymore because I get over 800 notifications. So I just have to vibrate. That's the only thing I know. Too much notifications. Yeah. Well, you know, Ron. You know, Ron from Baltimore. <laughs> Who? Ron, Ron from Baltimore. Yes, of course. Yeah. Like three or four months there. And streaming all the time. All the time. And hey. His private time and uh, Ning like, wanted to like and love Ron uh, all the way, all the way, all the time, live, 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 live stream, and so on. He has fuck to do me. something, I guess. But, hey, fuck me. I, when I go, when I go to Thailand, I take some three, four pictures from restaurant or something, and that's it. Uh-huh. It's, yeah. it's like fuck the fucking fuckers. I don't want to. It's my girlfriend and so on. Nobody wants to see and it's my life. But Ron and now talking about was the Ning the right one for her uh, he his girlfriend. Was the was it right? No. The first thing, the uh, Ron is going alcoholist one, even good guy, but alcoholist and Baltimore and so on and three months of drinking with the girlfriend. <laughs> no way. Norway. No, no way. And second no, one, let's no try, hey, hey, let me tie people. Thai people, girls, it's all about the money. Of course, sometimes real love, meet the real love without no money. But this is number one to farangs, Western guys, outsiders. Farang. Do you say farangs in the Philippines? No. Too many farangs you have the same same name but different meaning Parangs is foreigner right yeah yeah and number one is <coughs> always the money almost the always the money and below even uh in uh, uh far, farm side uh, outsider of cities farang money is there families there 
Molly is mm. here and Beth like uh, chicken or so and something there and there is something where there is Parang. And of course it's a little bit little bit of course. Yeah, but the system is it's all about the money. And some farangs like Ron don't understand that and he's a stupid one. Because if you are good farang, you don't drink and you treat your lady girl new girlfriend you treat right here's and one of you maybe and big yeah. money or good good man or something then you go some somewhere to somewhere yeah, yeah. and I know, I know this too much, and I don't want myself good girlfriend because I'm not good man. Ah, uh, good, right. good, good, good enough. That's why I know, and I, I'm being always on on the happy side. I, I don't want, and why I know this because I have one of the best. Friends and a girl from Nakoratsima, and she tell me it's always the truth. Happy, happy girl with uh, Thai man, Thai man and two children, and we are the best friends ever. <laughs> Okay, it's connecting, connecting. Correct me. So I'm going to eat. Correct me. I, if I'm wrong. Aniko, I'm going to step down. You have eight minutes to go. I, I have to use the, I'm going to be in the BG here because this, my computer needs to use the uh, the camera. So I have to go down mm -hmm. here because I'm good. So I can use the camera on the Zoom. But I'll be in okay. BG right here. Um, for seven. Bye, Douglas. <laughs> Darren, thank you for the tree song. <laughs> You're welcome. We did it. <laughs> hey, Bye, guys. This was a tree song. I'm not happy. Okay, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> do some. There's no do some. Yeah, keep going, Kogus. Only eight minutes, seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, you know the system, like I was saying about uh, uh, outside Western people, with uh, Thai people or Western uh, Philippine girls. You know? Why not, Dara? You're not unsatisfied with threesome topic. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, use some blue pills. Eee, not good blue pills. Uh, finish, finish will finish the last. I'm from, I'm from, Kimar, I'm finish. Oh, you know, oh, hey, remember that. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo, yo, I'm your little butterfly. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it's hey. By the way, do you remember it's a Swedish song, and the band is Smile Deco. Oh yo yo! I'm a little butterfly. You always <laughs> play that. My favorite song. I never heard that song. Darling, that's more low, Jeff. Hey, Lily. Six minutes. Lily got one guitar. 
Like seven times the sauna. <laughs> this year I've been like 100 times because I have sauna. Rich people have salt room. Normal people like north we have only sauna. <laughs> Okay, two hours na guys. Time to bed na. Kogis. Two o'clock. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 2 a.m. in the morning in Saudi. No sauna. Night time. No midnight sauna. After midnight sauna. <laughs> Did you watch Ernest? Oh. Oh. Only a little bit can getting drunk, but I have to drink some more to get drunk drunk. Okay, guys. Time to bed now. It's hey. Let's a plane. No. <laughs> Bed no, Ernest. Thank you, Cop Cop. Thank you, Cogus. No, thank you. No, cop. Bye bye. How you say, honey? How you say in Philippines? Kiddos, thank you. Salama. Salama. Um, in in Finland, in Finland we say kiitos. Kiitos. Yeah, salama. Thank you, salama. Thank you again, honey. Take care. Chat. Take care. Okay, guys. Bye bye in the chat. Thank you so much for coming. Bye bye. 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 Bye-bye.